So here's the new smelter that is finished and this one, I made this one so it can be able to handle a lot more heat. So this time what I did is put the K-roll in this time. I put the these holders are on the bottom now with the ceramic motor. So that should be able to handle a little bit more heat. And then this K-roll can handle 2300 degrees. And I got it also on the cover. And I got this new A5 uh, clay crucible, which is supposed to handle 3000 degrees. So that's what I'll be melting the uh, copper in from now on. Then I got this one here, which is from my last smelter, the first one I built. And that one's for aluminum or the lower temperature because it's a little bit easier to work with and for this one I got I made myself a pair of tongs for it which fits pretty snug in the smelter I lift it out and you can just take it in on this piece here which you can just set it in there like that and then you just lift this piece, bottom piece up, and then you take this, and then you take the rod, and then you can just slide it over to lock it in place, and then you can pour it into your molds without being burnt or anything. Because the last time with with your with the handle above, anyway, he gets pretty warm. So, well, this will be the first time I'll be getting this one going. So. I'll show a little bit more of that later on. So this, this uh, new model of the smelter is still working pretty good here. You can see the bottom of the crucible is turning orange already, so... So it's still warming up pretty fast, just like the other one. So for melting aluminum this time, all I got is just the one fan going, and I don't have too much propane going in there, so it's controlling the temperature a little bit better. And so far, it's, actually, it's working a lot better. It's melted out within, oh, I don't know, about 15 minutes. So, so that's that on the aluminum. And I'll show you melting copper with the uh, that one and after I'm done with that then so so this time instead of a steel crucible I got a a new ceramic clay hardened clay mold 